In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to add an OnVIF IP camera to the Dawa AI NVR, and then how to set up the AI notifications uh, for that particular camera via the uh, web interface. So I'm logged into the, the uh, AI NVR using Internet Explorer and I will manually add the camera to the NVR since it's not connected directly to the PoE switch. It's on the network but it's not in, in the connected to the back of the NVR. The NVR has a built-in PoE switch. So these cameras here, uh, ports one through three, show this IP scheme because they're connected directly to the NVR on the PoE switch. Um, these other cameras showing in the 192.168.1 scheme uh, are cameras that are on the network and they're not connected to the back of the uh, NVR's PoE switch. So I'm going to do a manual add. I'm going to change the manufacturer to OnVIF. It's actually a, an LTS camera, which is a Hike Vision OEM. The password is not default. And the rest can be left as default. So that red icon there shows that the status is not yet completely, completely uh, ready. Once it turns green, that means it has connected to and registered this camera. You can try clicking the refresh button and there you can see that it has been added and the part number is listed here. So now that it's been added, you can go to the AI menu. So this button up here at the top right is your desktop. Uh, this is your desktop screen. You would click on the AI option and then click on the arrow next to parameters and then click on IVS. This was added on camera number five, I believe. So right now, what I'll do, I'll just delete this. But this is this is what it'll, it'll look like when you have no rules set up. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a rule. And up here, you'll see that the channel number is five. This is camera num number five on the NVR as stated by this here, channel number five, that, that's the one that we just added. And up here you'll see the AI by device or AI by camera. If you have an, a Dawa AI camera, then you can use that instead of using the NVR's resources. I like to use the NVR's resources when we're not working with a Dawa AI camera. So this can be another brand, it could be a regular IP camera that doesn't have the AI uh, functionality. The uh, AI NVR can push AI functionality to up to four non-AI devices. Um, so if that means you're using a single camera as we're using here, then this can be one of those devices. Or if you're using a multi-sensor camera where you have four separate sensors, then you would assign a maximum of one multi-sensor camera per AI NVR if you wanted all four of those sensors to have AI functionality. So let's go ahead with the first rule. There's, there's only AI by device here because this is not an AI camera. It doesn't have AI functionality. So we're going to assign AI by device. You click on the plus sign to, to uh, create the settings for your first rule. It'll say up here, please draw rules. So my concern is, let's say uh, I want to be notified when someone is walking back or forth, um, not only on this property, but also on this property. So let's say we have uh, 
the tripwire rule. And maybe like right around here is the concern. So by left clicking, I was able to draw that line. And by um, removing my finger from the mouse, uh, it has, it, it, it's able to draw like multiple lines that are connected to one point. I just want the one line, so I'm just gonna right click and it, it basically finished the drawing of the rule on one horizontal line. Um, if we chose the A to B direction as, as it, it's chosen here by default, then that would notify me anytime someone is walking from that side to this side because this is the direction of the arrow, from this side to this side. If I wanted to change that, I would go B to A, and now the arrow has been reversed. Or if I wanted, wanted to be notifi uh, notified when I have someone walking either direction, I can click both. And now you see the arrows on both sides. Um, this is mainly for the person notification. So I'm gonna uncheck vehicle. It's really too large, uh, of a, or it's too small of an area for it to detect vehicles because the object of detection should not be more than one tenth of the size of the image for the AI functionality to be effective. And you can see that in this, in this particular uh, view, this, this vehicle here occupies probably I don't know, 15% of the image or 20% of the image. So it would not be able to work with this. Now, this one might work. However, we have that um, that gate mesh or those, those bars on the gate. So it's possible that it may not detect vehicles because of the gate obstruction. Even though you can visually see it, the camera might not be able to identify that. Um, so what I'll do is, for good measure, I'm going to, um, let's finish this one rule. So if you click on setting, um, I wanna be notified 24 hours, 24 seven on this. And let's say I wanna create, this one is done. I'm gonna hit, oh, oh before, we, before we finish this. Um, I'm going to create a, a maximum size and a minimum size for the, the target. So the target is one person. Now if that one person were closer to the camera, um, he or she would appear as a larger object. And if they were over here or over here, then they're further away from the camera so they would appear smaller. So when it comes to the maximum size, you want to be able to, so I just clicked on maximum size and draw, and draw target. And you can kind of see here that there's these dots around this larger square. And then you see a smaller square with no dots around it. So I'm going to take the one with the larger. You can see those dots a little bit easier now. So um, I'm going to make this maximum size. This is the largest one person can be in order to trip the, the AI sensor. So if you want to gauge for a larger person, heavier set, taller, then maybe this would be ideal. I mean, that's getting pretty close to the size of the vehicle almost, but it is a little bit closer to the camera, so just keep that in mind. And it's definitely uh, less than one tenth of the image. So that would be an ideal place for, an ideal size for maximum. Um, for minimum, if you click on that, you'll see that the four dots have shifted, shifted to the uh, smaller square. And now you can draw the minimum size of a person. So what I like to do is I like to put this over an area where someone will, will, will be detected that's really small. So as far away from the camera as possible without any obstructions. Over here we have obstructions on this gate. 
So I would say maybe around that size would be the smallest someone could be for this alarm to be tripped. You can even go a little bit smaller if you want. Um, and then I'm gonna scroll down here and click on OK. This is for the human detection. Now we can try doing a vehicle detection in this back alley here. Again, it may not work properly because of this gate obstruction. And in addition to that, the vehicle or the object would have to be uh, on, like, you know, seen by the camera for at least two seconds before it could be flagged as a human or a vehicle. So if I placed the tripwire here, I may not be able to detect objects like vehicles that are coming through the alley this way. Um, same goes if I place the tripwire here on the other property. So what I'll do is I'll place it somewhere near the middle, like around this area here. So vehicle, oh, let's go ahead and uh, save this one and let's just add another tripwire. So we said somewhere around here and right click to just select this single line, the single vertical line. Um, I want an A to B direction or both actually, so I can get uh, vehicles going in either direction. Um, people, I'm not really too concerned about because I'm only concerned with people going on this on on uh, this property here. We do have this wall where someone could, in fact, breach the perimeter by jumping over this wall, and we'll address that in a second. But in this case, I'm only concerned with vehicles in the alley, not so much people. Let's say I wanted one more tripwire for human detection along this wall. So if somebody tried to jump this wall. So right click to just have that one line. I'll be notified for both directions. And person only. Period is 24 seven. Anytime someone jumps over that wall, I wanna know about it. Draw the target for the minimum size. I'd say that's fairly accurate there. You have to imagine if someone tries to jump over from here, they're gonna be a lot smaller than if they tried to jump over from here because they're, again, they're further away from the camera. And then the maximum size That's uh, if they try to jump over from this area here. That's probably, they're not gonna be bigger than that. If they were bigger than this, they would have a hard time jumping over this wall. So I'll accept this and I will go outside now to test it. We're going to look at the live view of this camera. This is this camera here, I believe. So I will take a step outside now to see if these rules trip. We have one rule here. We have a third rule here. We have a second rule here in the alley. 